And it is once again time for Hopkinton Hiller swimming. It is January 15th, Wednesday night. We're here at Keith Tech. This is Kevin Legassi along with Eve Weatherhead. Hello. Eve is going to be doing double duty tonight. She's gracious enough to be operating the camera as well as adding some very insightful commentary for both diving and swimming. We'll have her for the first half of the meet, then we're going to figure out what we do for the second half of the meet. Anyways, Dedham High School, the Marauders challenging the Hillers of Hopkinton. Hopkinton comes into this meet 3-1 and one in the TVL. They're only lost against the leading team in the TVL, Ashland, the Clockers. A uh, good meet that we did not get on camera. It was a home meet here at Keith Tech uh, against Austin Prep, where both the boys and girls won. A non-league meet. Good to see a lot of swimmers in the pool when it's uh, not a co-ed meet and it is male-female. We were able to get a lot more swimmers in the pool. A lot of depth on this Hopkinton Hillers team. It's one of the things that we're going to look for tonight. Dedham comes in with a solid team. And at the end of the day, I believe um, just trailing Hopkinton in the TVL. And what we'll do is get ready for the meet. Uh, we're going to, as the teams get ready and prepare the pool, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll come back and get the meet started. What's her? Did you shut it off? Yeah, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Is that, uh, this one yeah, I know, it's hard with either one of them. I don't know which one's better. Oh, did it fall out? Yeah. Oh, it goes in the, uh, the red goes in the back. No, it goes in the back oh. here. There you go. That one. Nope. Right there. Nope, nope, nope. Orange dot. Oh, this one's right, there you go. Oh, look at that. Look at sound again. Awesome. This one for now. I'm just gonna bring these up here so it doesn't. Yep. So not this. Yeah. So not drag it. Perfect. Good. Good. <clears throat> All right. You back on? Yep. All right. We're back, unbeknownst to me. <laughs> Hiller swimming against the Marauders of Dedham. We're going to start co-ed meet tonight so boys and girls swimming together we're going to start as we always do with the 200 meter medley medley 200 meter uh medley relay there we go actually 200 yard so quiet for the start clean start for the hillers in lane two that's mayor lauren burke in lane four cassie white and in lane six kate legassi not a usual backstroker. Leading off for the medley relay up in lane six. Dedham and Hopkinton. Three lanes across the first turn. The medley relay is backstroke, butterfly, breast, and the freestyle. 
Mary Lauren Burke in lane two, getting ready to turn it over to Tyler Holbrow. Holbrow into the pool. Ian Mc A and, uh, Aiden McDonald up in lane four, and Fletcher Clark fletched the catch. Fletcher Clark going into lane six. Hopkinton opening up a nice lead. Tyler Holbrow in lane two. Followed closely by Aiden McDonald as he's closing in on the Dedham swimmer in the center of the pool. So we've got three across lanes two, three, and four. Good breaststroker in the center of the pool there by, by um, Dedham. Three coming in together as we get ready to put the flyers into the pool. It's Alex Metsukas, Al Allison Fool. And up top, that is going to be Holly Burns going in in lane six. Hopkinton, slight lead in lane two. That is Matsukas. Fu holding on in lane three to third place. Dedham in second, barely. Fu trying to close, and we're going to get ready for the final legs. Matsukas turns it over to Allison Fisher, the fish. Tyler Fallon goes in in the center of the pool, a little bit behind Dedham. And up top. That's Holly Burns. She's going to turn over to Shailene Patel. Shailene Patel. Uh, going to be a tight race here as Dedham is starting to close. That is Fisher. Fisher's going to hold on. It looks like ever so slightly if she doesn't run out of pool here. And she touches out Dedham just at the very end. And up top, Tyler Fallon comes in in third place. Dedham taking two and four. Hopkinton taking one and three. And up top, Shailen Patel is going to take fifth. So the Hopkinton relays, we're going to have a second heat here. So the lane two relay of Mary Lauren Burke, Tyler Holbrow, Alex Matsukas, and Alyssa Fisher gets Hopkinton off to a good start. The scoring, if you want to keep score at home, Relays are scored eight for first, four for second, and two for third. Only the top three in the relays will score as Dedham's last heat here in lane one comes in. And for the individual events, six, four, three, two, and one, the top five places will score. As we mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, the top of the broadcast, Hopkinton comes in here with a three and one record in the TVL, looking to extend the TVL success with a win tonight if they can against Dedham. Dedham closely behind them in the TVL. Hopkinton's only lost to Ashland. They are, have been the powerhouse the last couple of years. They won the TVL last year and the prior year as well, even though Hopkinton takes the, the league meet, which will be at the end of the season. We're going to get ready for heat number two. Going across in lane two for the first leg. That's going to be Ryan DeLeva, Gabe O'Brien, and Le Leah Patrick. Only Hopkinton. Looks like only Hopkinton swimmers. That's DeLeva, the young DeLeva, Ryan, Gabe O'Brien, and Leah Patrick. Some additional swimmers as coach puts some additional heats into the pool tonight for heat number two. Happy to be announcing it again. I've got my new favorite partner, Eve. How are we doing <laughs> up there, Eve? It's going pretty well. Good. She's doing double duty, Eve Weatherhead, whose older sister Tess is a diver. I wonder why there's no um, uh, denim swimmers in this one. Well, I think what happens is denim, as you can look across at Hopkinton's team as we're 40 deep, let me just announce who's going in. Sophia Luce, Kevin Cavanaugh, and Maggie McCarthy now in the pool for the breaststroke. Hopkinton runs about 43 to 45 swimmers this year. Dedham looks like they've got probably about um, three quarters of that, maybe 25 or 30. So a lot of depth in the Hopkinton team. They actually it used to be a no-cut sport here in Hopkinton, and now they have started the cut because they have so many people trying out. In the center of the pool, closest to uh, the center of the pool, that is Kevin Cavanaugh, closest to us, so Sophie Luce. And then Maggie McCarthy into the pool now for the butterfly. Sean Haley in the center, center of the pool. Yaming Fang in lane two. And up top, Aya Baba. Pretty evenly matched relays here for Hopkinton. These kids are all going for times. The second heat is not going to count towards the scoring tonight. However, these times will count towards sectional and state cuts. Also gets these guys into the pool. Sean Haley 
Nice show in here in the fly. Going to turn it over to Declan Hanscom. And my favorite new name this year, Wyatt Ruff. Young man from the Midwest, it sounds like, doesn't it? Wild, wild west. Wyatt. And up top is Kutarth Palmer. So Kutarth Palmer up top. Coming in now, Declan Hanscom. And Wyatt Ruff closing in. Nice swim in the center of the pool by Declan Hanscom. Wyatt Ruff also a nice looking swim. Nice stroke, nice freestyle stroke. And the same up top there for Kutarth Palmer. Hanscom, Ruff, both freshmen, new to the team. And Palmer finishing up top. So center of the pool wins that heat. As we get ourselves ready for the next race. Kutuk Palmer, I was just checking on that. Sophomore, sophomore swimmer for Hopkinton. We're going to go to the 200 freestyle. Hopkinton's going to put out Andrew Delevin lane two. We call him Andy up here. Ritesh Rajanigan in lane four. And Kalem Can in lane six. 200 free, a grueling race. Eight laps of the pool. It's not really a, it's not really a sprint. It's not really a relaxed 500 race. It's a right in between. So difficult race for these swimmers. Hopkinton's had good success. Try to get a watch on this. Hopkinton's had good success in the 200 free this year. Deleva usually swims the 500. It's going to be interesting to see if he's also in the 500 tonight or whether Coach is mixing it up. It looks like Coach is. Um, Rajan again, not necessarily a 200 swimmer. We see Ritesh in the fly as well as the 100, the 50. Uh, we see him occasionally in the um, breaststroke. And Kayla McCann, she's all over the place. So Deleva, Ritesh Rajan again, and Kayla McCann as we fill a little bit here before the start. A balmy day today, 50 degrees in Hopkinton. On the 15th of January, which is normally freezing cold. And as they officials get some stuff squared away on deck. Get ourselves geared up and see if we can get ourselves a watch on this. All the watch times that we're going to talk about are going to be unofficial. I could oh. triple task. <laughs> I know, really. <laughs> I've got given you enough to do up there, Eve. <laughs> A little bit of downtime here as the Hillers swim team gathers on the side. You can see the depth if you pan up and down. Eve, you can see the size of the team. Uh, a large team this year, 45. I think by my count, 43, 45. I've seen these guys eat, having hosted a spaghetti dinner at the house. These guys know how to eat. They burn a lot of calories in the pool. Coaches have been working the kids hard this year. Well, looks like we're ready to go. A little bit of time. 200 freestyle. Get a watch on this as they head into the water. It's a clean start. Center of pool, that's where Tester's on again. Right now, just trailing a little bit slightly, the uh, Dedham Swinners. Andrew Deleva, close in lane two. And up top, that is Kayla McCann. Dedham out to a slight lead, half body length lead over Ritesh Rajanigan. Rajanigan holding firm, nice, nice stroke by Rajanigan. Good flip by Deleva, and up top, that's Kayla McCann. She's holding nicely into four. Hopkinton doesn't have to win every race tonight. If they take a 2, 3, 4 in the individual events, the point scores are actually a better total than taking 1 and 5. Rajanigan and Dedham head to head as they take the turn into the 75. As we said, this is an 8-lap swim. Andrew Deleva closing right in behind him, and Kayla McCann still battling for 4th place up top with a slight lead in lane 6. Clean turn as they turn for the final 100. Deleva, lane 2 in 3rd. Rajanigan trying to press a little bit now as he sits right now about a half a body length in second place. 
Denham holding a lead. McCann has opened up about a body length, half a body length lead, up in lane six. Pardon me with the cough, it's a little dry in the pool here. Rajan again starting to press a little bit. This is going to come down to the last 50 as they turn at the 150. Delev is holding on clearly in third place, and up top, Kayla McCann, we get a battle for fourth. A couple of duels in the pool here tonight, Rajan again. Rajan again starting to press. He looks like he's got a little left in the tank for the last 50. Deleva holding on in third. Kayla McCann opened up a little bit more lead up there in lane six. Rajan again beats him to the wall, takes a turn. This is going to come down to the last 25. Rajan again, Dadham. Rajan again pressing. It's going to come down to the sprint and the kick. Five yards left to go. Can Rajan again catch him? Dadham, long, strong strokes. Very nice swim. Good press by Ritesh Rajanigan up there in the center of the pool. Dedham takes one. Rajanigan takes two for Hopkinton. Deleva takes three. We've got a battle for fourth place. Kayla McCann trying to hold off a late surge here by the Dedham swimmer. McCann up top in lane six. She's got five yards left to go. Kayla McCann holds on to lane to place number four. Really nice swim, gutsy swim by Kayla McCann up in lane six, holding off the Dedham Swinner. So Dedham takes one, five. Hopkinson takes two, three, and four. Recapping in the medley relay, Hopkinson takes one, three. Dedham took second. Nice swim by the girls. Of course, I had a watch running. I didn't even look at it because it was an <laughs> exciting race in the pool. That's what usually happens with these things. Too many things going on, too much to watch. But a good race there for the 200 freestyle. Final stretch by Demon. Uh, wait, <laughs> Final swimmer by Dedham is coming Denim. in. There you go. <laughs> Two free record for Hopkinton on the men's side, a 456 and a 505. A 505 set way back in 2003, Megan Farrell, who at the time was a junior Olympian. I think we've even mentioned that a few times on the broadcast. That is the oldest record, I believe on the record board, unless Sean Terry is 2005. 2005 on the men's side is the oldest record, 59.88 in the 100 breaststroke, an incredible record going sub one in the uh, 100 breaststroke. So those are the two oldest records on the record board. Megan Farrell's got two of them, the two free, and also the uh, 500 free as we get ourselves ready for the next race. 200 IM puts Deirdre Belger in lane two, Blake Briner in lane four, and Ishtar Karana in lane six. The medley, the uh, 200 IM, butterfly back, breast, and free. Not dissimilar to the medley relay, except now we just have one person swimming it. And that's Blake Briner open up a nice lead in the center of the pool. Nice fly stroke by Briner. Dedham trails. In both second and third, Hopkinton's going to battle it out in lane two, Deirdre Belger. And up top in lane six, that's Ishta Karana. Continuing to hold in the center of the pool, Blake Briner. Dedham's not a big team, but they're coming in feisty tonight. They've put up a win in the 200 freestyle. Hopkinton hoping to get back to their winning ways after the two Medley relay here in the 2 IM. Blake Briner in the center of the pool, up top in lane six, holding on to fourth place for Hopkinton, Ishta Karana. Briner turns into the breaststroke. This is where races are won and lost. If there's a good breaststroker, sometimes a fly backstroke or freestylers have a little trouble with the breaststroker. Briner looks pretty good, all the denim starting to close. Up in lane six, Ishta takes the turn, Karana. And in lane two, closest to us, Deidre Belger. Briner holding on to the lead right now in the center of the pool. Dedham holding on to 2-3. And Ishtar Karana for Hopkinton in fourth. Belger now taking over in fifth place. All these points are going to count tonight. Blake Briner going to get ready to take turn. The last 50 for the freestyle. About a five, six yard lead for Briner as he looks to open it up a little bit more. Dedham takes the turn. Holding on to second and third and up top, that's Ishtar Karana. Hanging on, although being closed in right now. Deidre Belger, she's opened up quite a lead. Now in fourth position. Fifth position, closing in. Briner takes a turn, he's coming in. He's gonna win easily. Center of the pool, he comes down. 
See if we can get an unofficial time here. Comes in at 2.23. Dedham's going to take second and third. Hopkinton now has moved clearly into fourth and fifth position. And it's going to be a battle between Ishta Karana and Deidre Belger. We're going to see what they've got left in the tank. They take the turn about the same time. Belger really closed on the breaststroke. Now she's got a nice freestyle going. It's Deidre Belger closest to us in lane two. And up top, that is Ishta Karana. Get unofficial times as the two girls come in. These are going to be important points for fourth and fifth position. It's going to be Belger, then Karana, 258 and change. Nice swims by the two swimmers for Hopkinton. And a good win by Blake Briner as the last of the swimmers for Dedham comes in. Briner, junior swimmer. Been with the team for quite some time. Belger, a sophomore. And Ishta Karana, a freshman. Nice showing up top. Good times by Hopkinton swimmers. They swim down, relax. Going to get to the 50 free. 50 free style, don't blink, it's going to be over. This is going to be done in about 25 seconds. 50 free is all, around the, all about the start and the turn. So look for these swimmers coming off the block. Good streamlines, good turns up at the other end. Not a lot of breath gets taken. First heat, first of three. We're going to see Mia Carboni close to us. Mary Lauren Burke in the center of the pool. And Sophia Luce. The coach goes with an all-female 50 freestyle. Second heat will have Cassie White, Aditya Duda, and Pierce Farrell. So Carboni, ML Burke, and Sophia, Sophie, uh, Sophia Luce. See if we can get a quick time on this one as well. Clean start, good start in the center of the pool by Dedham. That's Carboni closest to us. Mary Lauren Burke and Sophia Luce. Dedham right now, one, two. They take the turn three across in the center of the pool. Battling close is Mary Lauren Burke. Dedham in lane five, taking the lead, lane three as well. Hopkinson try to close, Mary Lauren Burke. That's going to be Dedham, one, two. Mary Lauren Burke coming in at 26 6. Hopkinson takes. Three, four, and five. So nice swims there. It's a 26 6. Actually, that's just off of a girl's qualifying time for the state. She gets a qualifier for the sectionals, girls' sectionals 20, 27 15. And that's Burke qualifying for the Division II sectionals. Nice swim there by ML Burke. Getting ready for the next group of swimmers. We're going to see Cassie White, Aditya Duda, and Pierce Farrell. Pierce Farrell had a good freshman year, if I recall. Pierce Farrell is a sophomore. He is. Looked really strong in his freshman season. We'll reset our clock here and see if we can get if we can get some times. Aditya Duda also a solid swimmer. <laughs> Nice fly, nice freestyle, a good sprinter. Junior. Just be quiet up for heat number two. The times will be official, but heat two is not a scoring meet. Dedham puts out three swimmers as well. Closest to us, that is Cassie White, center of the pool, Adichie Duda, and Pierce Farrell up top. Nice start. By the Hopkinton swimmers, all three across. Center of the pool, flipping first. That's Duda, followed closely by Farrell and Cassie White. Nice swims all around. It's going to be Duda coming in, pressing. His time's going to be official, even though it's a non-scoring. Get an unofficial 25-3. Right behind him, Cassie White and Pierce Farrell. Good showing. That's going to be close. For the men, the 53 qualifying time is a 23.83. Just a little bit off, but a good swim in the center of the pool by Deitcha Duda. And we're going to get one more heat in here for Hopkinton in lane two. It's going to be Wyatt Ruff. 
It's going to be Sean Haley in the center of the pool, lane four, and up in lane six. It's going to be Declan Hanscom. Good showing thus far by Hopkinton, although the one two finish by Dedham in the 50 freestyle. Going to keep this close going in to the diving. We're going to take a break after the, the last heat of the 50 free as they get ready for the pool, ready the pool for the diving. Get a watch on this. Clean start, lean two. Nice start there by Wyatt Ruff. Sean Haley in the center of the pool. And Declan Hanscom. All young men vying for good times and positions for this team. Adding some depth. Wyatt Ruff, lean two. Center of the pool with Sean Haley coming in strong. Looks like it might be Haley in the center of the pool. Followed by Ruff and then Hanscom. Close for the finish, about a 27 and change. Nice swims by the Hopkinton swimmers. Dedham puts three swimmers out. As we have a swimmer in a little bit of distress, swallowed some water. And she's going to finish the race. Good for her. I've seen that happen before, having been around pools and swimming. Since I was a kid, watching some U.S. meets, butterfly, freestyle, you catch a little bit of pool water the wrong way, it'll throw you off considerably, so the swimmer in lean three trying to catch her breath. We'll let her do that. We're going to catch ourselves here. We're going to take a quick little break as we ready the pool for diving. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. And we're back with the diving. as they announced the divers here tonight. We've got I'm gonna turn this over to Eve a little bit as she's a professional diver. Juliana Lucas on the board for Hopkinton. A little bit short at the end there, but that was a reverse dive pike. 6 bingo, so six across. That's a pretty good score for that dive. Nice score. Hopkinton's going to put two divers out, Juliana Lucas and Tess Weather. Two divers with Dedham. This is a reverse dive tuck. It's the same way, but this time she's going to do a tuck. And same thing, a little bit short at the end there. She got a five and a half, but two other fives, which is pretty good for that as well. I'm guessing this is reverse week because everybody's doing reverses. Really Tested nice it pretty dive. well, but she was a little bit over, lagging her feet. She got a seven, a six and a half, and a seven. Denim again doing a reverse dive tuck. It is definitely reverse week. Not as much bounce, so she didn't get as high up, but she did seem to make it, but a little bit short as well. <coughs> Six, a five and a half, and a five and a half. Hopkinton divers have been having a good success this year. That was a back dive, dive tyke. Nice looking dive. Four, seven, seven, seven and a half. 
Juliana got sevens all around and a seven and a half at the end there. That was a pretty good entry, no lag. And Pike is a much prettier form. <laughs> Juliana's been having a good season. She had a great uh, great group of dives at the um, Austin Prep Meet. Dedham Diver. A little bit over on that one as well, huh? That was a front dive pike. She definitely went over on it. And she got five and a half so all around. Was a reverse one and a half tuck. Really short. But Tess got six, six, six and a half. It's a much higher DD. This dive is especially difficult. So the DD that he referred to, that's the degree of difficulty. You'll hear a number that's set along with the scores at the beginning of the dive. Bill announces a degree of difficulty 1.5, 2.6, etc. That was a front dive tuck. A little bit out, but the entry was very well done. So the good part is we finally have somebody announcing diving up here that knows what they're doing. Eve is a diver as well. Tess's younger sister. She's been gracing us with her presence in the booth. We're glad <laughs> to have her here. She's doing double duty tonight on camera and announcing. So it's a pleasure to be here. Well, that's good. No, that was back one and a half. Good entry. She came out a little bit too early, which made it short. But she got a six and a half bingo. <laughs> Juliana racking up some scores as well as taps. That was the front one and a half tuck. A little bit out, and the entry was pretty good. Five, five, and a five and a half. Tessa's up on the board. Let's see what she's got. Back one and a half. She came out a little bit early, but managed to save the entry. And seemed to do the trick because she got seven bingo. I like the last time when we were announcing, we talked a little bit about the approach on the board, and you call the, the bounce the hurdle. But never there are that. two different hurdles. This They are doing the original hurdle to do that front flip right there. And there's a different hurdle that my sister uses, I believe, and it's called the hoppy hurdle. Five and a half all around for that dumb diver. Dead of hanging in here, keeping it close. Juliana's doing a double. Now a double, you need much height in your hurdle. And she makes it. Comes out a little bit early, but the entry was pretty good. Six, six, and a six and a Now that dive was a back dive, half twist. Entry was a little over and she went out. But she seemed to get four and a half. Twisters, I think, are especially hard, it knowing which direction. Tough, yeah, it seems to be a tough dive. It's almost like 
it, it's hard because it looks like you have to go up. Depends on which direction you're going. If you're going backwards, you usually face the other way. If you're going forward, then you got to figure out where you're going. That's true. Tess up on the board. Now Tess did a back twister. She went over on her entry. She got six, six, and a five and a half. That was a one and a half twist on that. Is that correct? Starts facing the board and... Back flip, half twist, I believe. Half twist. Yep. Now that was a front flip half twist. Five and a half, five and a half, and a six. Not too bad. Nice scores. <coughs> Now that was an inner one and a half. Back. Very good entry. Six and a half, seven, Four, seven and a half. You can see Hopkinton's depth if you look across the pool. You can hear him cheering pretty excitedly for the Hopkinton divers. Hopkinton, quite a few people over there lying in the pool. In case we haven't said it tonight, Hopkinton led by captains on the boys' side, Andrew Delever and Alex Mitsukas. And on the female side, Allison Fu, Kayla Gassi, and Kayla McCann. Very good at going up. A little bit over, but the entry she managed to save at the end there. A six, a five, and a five and a half. Five on one C, that's a two and a half. You have to have a lot of height for this dive. She does the hoppy hurdle. I like my new favorite term now. That was Very a good, good entry. Dive. What do you think? Eight, eight and a half? Possibly. <laughs> seven and a half, seven and a half, and an eight. You were correct. Oh, well, good scores then. Degree of dif difficulty will definitely help that dive as well. Nice part, Tess is only a sophomore. Juliana Lucas is a junior, both going to return next year. Always good to see. Hopkinton's had great diving depth. In these moments, we'll try to get a zoom camera in on Coach Jim Brainerd, who coaches the divers. Nice, some snappy socks today. Nice inward dive. That was an inward dive. That was a front flip, half twist, I believe. Six and a half, bingo. So we look ahead here to the schedule. Hopkinton's going to have another home meet here against Norwood, also a divisional meet, TVL league meet. That'll be in the 20th, the 18th, rather. did go out on the end there, which made her go over. But other than that, a very good tuck and a very good in. Five, five, and a four and a half. Test back up the board. This is one and a half. This is the one that Juliana nailed. <laughs> then. Mm. Hey, Juliana's having a good season. Giving Tess a run for her money this year. Oh, that's a good looking dive. Good entry as well. Yeah. Four, eight and a half, seven and a half, nice. 
Seven say. and a half, bingo. Or is that eight and a half? No, we had an eight and a half. Oh, eight and a half, my bad. Yeah. Coach Brainerd, eight and a half. Inward dives look hard, but they seem to be much easier. Seem to have a little bit more power and control of where you go on the board. Carson doing a nice job. All of them executing their dives tonight. Good scores from the coaches. Or from the uh, judges, rather. Back dive, very good entry. A little a bit entry. out. Nice, good scores. Six and a half finger. That concludes the diving. We're going to take a quick break. Just upcoming, if you're interested, over at Keefe Tech. Hopkinton is going to swim three days from now. They're going to swim on the 18th, a home meet against Norwood. Then senior night is going to be on the 20th. And that is going to be here at Keefe Tech against Westwood. We'll take a quick break after they get the pool ready for swimming. Get the swimmers back up on the blocks as we will continue with the 100 fly coming up just after this break. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Camp TV. And I I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Woo! We're back. Let me get the results of the diving. In second place, from Hopkinton, Juliana, with 227.95 points. Very good, Juliana. Dedham took third and fourth, Juliana. I didn't hear what her scores were. What were her scores? What not was her sure total? I could not hear them or someone screaming in the I back know. there. Very excited. <laughs> Very enthusiastic. Not many people show much enthusiasm <laughs> for diving. No, they don't, <laughs> but there's a lot to cheer about. Hawkinson takes one, two. Dedham takes three, four. The diving. Diving scored the same as the swimming events. So Hopkinton with the one, two takes ten points to Dedham's five. Good showing there by Juliana and Tess. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 100 fly. Hopkinton's going to put out Tyler Holbrow, Aiden McDonald, and Holly Burns. Closest to us in lane two, that's Tyler Holbrow, Aiden McDonald in the center of the pool, and Holly Burns up in lane six. Quick start. Quick lead for Aiden McDonald and Tyler Holbrow in lanes two and four. Center of the pool, that's McDonald. Holbrow, one, two right now. Dedham challenging in lane three for third place. Up top in lane six, Holly Burns taking the turn for the final 50. Aiden McDonald, he's in the center of the pool. He's opened up a 10 yard lead. Separating himself now is Tyler Holbrow. Hopkinton clearly won two. Holly Burns trying to hold on to fifth place and challenge for fourth with a good underwater and a turn. McDonald, he's going to cruise. Looks good in the center of the pool in lane four. He's going to take this easily. Being chased a little bit by Tyler Holbrow, but not challenged. That's Aiden McDonald in the middle of the pool. Good looking swim for the 100 fly. Hopkinton takes one. Hopkinton takes two. Dedham coming in. Up top, Holly Burns. She's battling for fourth spot. Let's see what we've got. As she starts to take the lead a little bit over the Dedham swimmer. Holly Burns, she's pushing it up in lane six. She looks good. She looks strong coming in at the end. Five yards to go. It's Holly Burns. Moved herself into fourth spot. Holly Burns takes it. Nice swim by Holly Burns. Good looking swim there by Holly Burns. So Hopkinton takes one, two, and four. Aiden McDonald, center of the pool, he takes first. Tyler Holbrow finds himself in second position, and Holly Burns with a gutsy swim up there in lane six. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 100 freestyle. This is an all sprint. Closest to us is going to be Yiming Fang in lane two. 
Kevin Cavanaugh in lane four and Connor Willardson in lane six. Hopkinton throwing out a different lineup here tonight. Willardson a freshman. Yiming Fang I believe is a sophomore. She is. And our third swimmer Kevin Cavanaugh I think is a freshman as well. So a couple freshman boys are out there for some times. See if we can get a watch on this one. I missed it the last time. So Fang, Cavanaugh, and Willardson. Clean start. We've got a watch on this. Center of the pool. Kevin Cavanaugh. Nice stroke, nice swim up top. That's Willardson. You mean Fang. Three across, four across the pool, taking the turn. Kavanaugh, slight lead over the two Dedham swimmers. In third place, up in lane six right now, that is Connor Willardson. Turn in the center of the pool with the lead, Kevin Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh battled by the Dedham swimmer in lane three. This is going to come down to the final 25. We got three across, taking the turn. And in a race for fifth place, that's Yiming Fang in lane two. Losing a little bit of ground in the center of the pool. That's Kevin Cavanaugh. Dedham coming on strong to see if Cavanaugh can push to the end. Looks like Dedham in lane five with a strong finish. Dedham takes one, two. Kevin Cavanaugh takes three up top in lane six. And also Yiming Fang, she hangs on to, was close. It might have been fifth. It was hard to see. Difficult, uh, difficult sight lines here with the judge. But Hopkinton takes third and fourth as Dedham puts out a first and a second place finish. Even though I had the time running, time running, didn't look down, it was a close race. Dedham trailing the whole race, came up at the end. Tough swim for Kevin Cavanaugh, the gutsy swim. Connor, Connor Willardson looked good up there. Also in lane six, so nice swims by the freshman. And Yiming Fang turning in a nice turn, a nice swim as well. 500 free is going to see a couple of new players here. Alex Matsukas, Melissa Fisher, she's a regular, and Kevin Gu. So coach putting out um, a different lineup tonight, Kristen Weber. <clears throat> We've talked about her in the last broadcast. First year swimmer, or first year coach rather. She's taken over the reins from uh, Coach Jeff Libby, and a uh, longtime assistant. I don't know if you can get a picture of the three of them or a camera of the three of them over on the side as we get ready for the 500. Coach Karen Terry on the left center is Jeff Libby, and up uh, to the right is Kristen Weber, new head coach. These seniors have seen three coaches as they started their careers as freshmen with Coach Brian King. Jeff Libby took over their sophomore years for two years, and he's turned over the reins to Kristen Weber. Clean start here for the 500 freestyle. Closest to us in lane two, Alex Matsukis. Matsukis, Alyssa Fisher, the fish in the center of the pool. And up top is Kevin Gu. We do have a watch on this. We'll take a, a quick look, try to get some lap times. 500 freestyle, this is 20 laps of the pool. This is grueling. This is going to take five or six minutes, so if you want to get something to eat, this is a good time to run to your refrigerator. Four across the first, they turn about 31 seconds. Nice opening lap. This is about pace and endurance. These guys are going to go out in 31s and 32s and try to hold somewhere close to 33s and 34s. We'll get some watches on this and see what the lap times look like. A list fish. Fisher, Kevin Gu, and Alex Matsukas. Matsukas and Fisher, senior captains. Oh, I'm sorry, Fisher's a junior. My apologies. My guess is she'll be a captain next year. I'm going to newly appointed her, I think, Eve. I've already crowned her captain. Fisher working herself up to a, to a little bit more of a lead here as Gu and... Matsukas and Fisher look like they are one, two, three. That is a dead swimmer falling off just a little bit. 
Yeah, I feel like might be we hanging have a lot more fourth. juniors than seniors this year. Yep. Yeah, the junior class is a big junior class. Seniors, they only graduate, I think, 10 seniors, uh, nine seniors. Yeah, that's not that many. Eight seniors, that's right. I remember last year, I feel like there was a lot more. <laughs> a little dry here. Sorry for the cough. As they finish their seventh lap, turn towards the first 200. See if you get a lap time at the 200. Looking for somewhere in the 140 range, or the, actually a little bit more than that. Let's see what we got here at the 200. So center of the pool, that's Alyssa Fisher. Closest to us, Alex Matsukas. And up top is Kevin Gu. So right now, Hopkinton in one, two, three. Dedham challenging in lane three. As they take the turn to the halfway point, coming in. Fisher opening a nice half a, half a pool length lead over Matt Sukas and Gu. Gu hanging on into uh, third place up in lane six. Matt Sukas has opened himself up a little bit more. Now full body length lead, five, six yard lead in second place. Swimming strong, Goo trying to hold on to third place as Hopkinton looks to sweep. Fisher turns, they're halfway through. Coming up on the, finishing up the 12th lap. 20, 20 laps they don't want to have to think about or count in their head, so there are lap counters at the far end of the pool as Fisher takes her turn and lap number, starting lap number 13. Matsukis hanging in there nicely in second place. Goo doing a nice job up top in third. Denham's hanging around. We'll see what kind of push he's got at the end. Fish, Alyssa Fisher opening up a really nice swim. Got a great lead there in the center of the pool, Fisher does. Matsukis takes his turn. And Goo hanging in there right now in lane six. Although he's getting pressed a little bit by Dedham. Hopkinton looking the sweet pairs. Fisher should cruise to, the, to win pretty easily here. She's going to flip on lap 15 at the other end of the pool. Matsukis turns, as does Goo. Goo's still holding on to third place, but he's getting challenged by the Dedham swimmer. Let's see what Kevin can do. Or as they say, let's see what Goo can do. Uh, too long a race. Got to fill a little bit too much time. Fish, Alyssa Fish, Fisher, Fish the Fisher, Alyssa the Fish takes a turn. She's going to turn on to her final 75 pretty soon at the other end of the pool. Matt Sukas, he's turning. Goo still with about a head leg lead as they turn. He and the Dedham swimmer turning together. All eyes on Fisher. She's going to get the bell lap coming in. By the Fisher in lane four there really lives up to her last name. Yes, she does. She looks really good. She seems to be about a yeah, full lap in front of them. She has almost lapped the competition. Fish with 50 left to go. She starts to turn it on. Matsukis clearly in second place. Goo has now been overtaken for third place, but he's really battling up there in lane six. This is going to be a battle after 20 laps, it's going to be a battle for third spot. See what he can do. Fisher's coming back. She's going to finish this race and take the win easy. We're going to get a quick time on this as she's coming in. 5.30, about a 5.38 unofficially. Nice swim. Matsukis is coming in. It's the first time he's swam the 500 this year. Let's see what he can put down. And Kevin Gu trying to press to see if he can get himself in third position. I don't know if he's going to have enough left in the tank, but let's see. Metsukas comes in at 5.55. Nice swim to break six. It looks like Dedham's going to cruise in at third place. So Hopkinton just avoids getting the sweep. 6.05 up top for Kevin Gu. <clears throat> Holliston still with two, or I'm sorry, uh, Dedham still with two swimmers in the pool. The Marauders, as they are known. Again, like we said, upcoming events, upcoming meets. This Saturday, Hopkinton will swim. Home meet, the Hillers 
against Norwood. And then the final home meet of the season against Westwood, who is has been tied with Hopkinton in the TVL with only one loss. I believe their only one loss has been to Ashland as well. So that's going to be a good meet. Stay tuned for Westwood. See how that looks. That's going to be senior night. And that's on the 20th. As Dedham swimmers come in. Final lap. Or she's got two more. We're going to see. She may have two more laps coming in. It is a tough race for all the swimmers. 20 laps of the pool. Actually, two swimmers still in the pool for Dedham. We've got one in lane two and one in lane five. Still doing flip turns, though. That's impressive. They're toughing it out. They're still stretching for it. They're going. Did him making it in lane one there. Lane one finishing up. Lane five lane still five. going. Still pushing. Yep, last last lap. This is a grueling race. Now I know why you're a diver. Well, I used to swim, but you know, I was small then and I probably had to do twice the work. Diving's a little bit of a more technique sport. That's very true. As the last Adam swimmer comes in to a round of applause. Nice swims across by Hopkinton again. Alyssa Fisher taking first, Alex Maksukis taking second, Kevin Good taking fourth. We're going to turn our attention over to the 200 free relay. Four swimmers each swimming a 50 free. It is an all-out sprint. A lot of splashing, a lot of water moving. Mia Carboni uh, in lane two. Mia Carboni is going to lead off the first group, Allison Fu, and then Kayla McCann. The teams are Mia Carboni, Kuthart, Kroot Arth Palmer, Olivia J and Aditya Duda in lane two. Allison Fu, Harani Fatagutla in lane four with Declan Hanscom and Cassie White. Kayla McCann, Gabe O'Brien, Holly Burns, and Aiden McDonald are in lane six. So there are going to be two heats of this. 200 free relay co-ed. Heat number one, Carboni, Fu, McCann. Clean start, center of the pool. Dead him out to a quick jump. Quick lead over Carboni and Fu. Kayla McCann up top. It's dead him with a quick lead. First turn, this is a long race. Four swimmers, 50 freestyle each. Carboni's gonna turn it over to Palmer. Fu's gonna turn it over to Thadagutla. Topkington right now being touched out. Palmer with a good swim up top. That's Gabe O'Brien in lane six. Trying to close the gap a little bit on the leading Dedham team. It's Palmer. Kutharth Palmer, Harani Thadagutla, also holding on, being touched out a little bit by Dedham. Dedham puts a third swimmer into the pool in the center. Palmer's going to turn it off to Olivia J. Into the water now is Dedham. Hopkinton puts in Declan Hanscom and Holly Burns. So we've got Jay Hanscom Burns across the pool. Dedham still leading. Hanscom is caught up to the Dedham swimmer. Dedham is still leading in the center of the pool. We've got a race for second and third. Hopkinton has moved themselves into second and third. Good looking swim by Declan Hanscom in the center of the pool. He's going to turn over to Cassie White. She's already shown she's a quick sprinter in the 53. And then Aditya did the same thing. He's shown some quick sprinting in the 53 as well. Hopkinton swimmers now, these, these final swimmers and up top, that's Aiden McDonald all chewing up a little bit of water here. As Dedham's gonna take first, Hopkinton will take second and third and fourth, pushing up top. Aiden McDonald trying to get himself in third, third spot. 
Hopkinton in the center of the pool. Cassie White takes second. Aditya Dutta takes third. Really nice swim by Aiden McDonald up top, taking fourth. But Dedham with a win in the 200 free relay, and we're going to have a second heat. Lane one's going to see Ryan DeLeva, Sophie Luce, Ritesh Rajan again, and Andrew DeLeva. Ooh, Team DeLeva bookending start and finish. Mary Lauren Burke in lane two with Pierce Farrell, uh, Chitrali, Samant, and Kevin Gu, and then Leah, Patrick, Ishta Karana, uh, Aya Baba, and Sean Haley in lane six. So a lot of kids get some opportunities to swim tonight. Hopkinton looks pretty good. Coach Kristen Weber, first year coach, mixing up the lineup tonight. Trying to see a little bit with assistant coach Jeff Libby what the lineups are going to look like, how these kids are swimming. They've got a lot of depth. Some good looking young swimmers. A lot of kids get some opportunities to swim tonight. After heat two, we're going to move ourselves in the 100 backstroke, then the 100 breast, and then we're going to end this meet tonight with the 400 free relay. The lineup stays the same every meet. So after heat two, three more events until the conclusion. I was very fortunate that Eve could stay on tonight. She's got to study for a midterm, so yeah. I wish you good luck with that. That's right, you guys are getting ready to come into test time, right? As yeah. the semester's getting ready to end? Yeah, I mean, I'm still only in eighth grade, but... They're getting us ready for midterms and getting us ready for high school after that. You were very poised for an eighth grader, and I appreciate your help up here. It's been a lot of fun. Hopefully you can make it for the next couple of meets as well. Yeah, right, sure if you can. planning to. Good. It's good to have another voice up here versus me droning on the whole time. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to broadcast the TVL championship meet this year. That's four hours of me just going on and on and on and yeah. on and on. It's a long day. So I'm not sure if Coach Brainerd has left yet. Did we, did we get a chance to look at his socks? I we, zoomed in on him once. He was wearing you? electric orange socks. He's quite the character. I like when he wears his uh, his uh, comfy pajama bottom pants. Gotta love Jim Brainerd. You do. <laughs> that man, I think, has coached every diver in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. He brings them candy sometimes. That's a good thing. So we were talking a little bit about Kristen Weber. She was a 200 freestyler herself at Boston College. So we get ready for the two free, second heat of the two free relay. First year coach. She is a teacher at Natick School System might be. So in the water, Ryan DeLeva, Mary Lauren Burke, and Leah Patrick. The 200 free relay, we've got heat number two. DeLeva's gonna turn it over to Sophie Luce. Burke over to Pierce Farrell and Patrick to Ishta, Ishta Kurana. Kristen Weber, I believe, swam for Boston College. She correct? did. Yes. She did. She was a freestyler. That's a nice swim there by Marion Lauren Burke turning over to Pierce Farrell. Nice swim also by Ryan DeLever turning over to Sophie Luce. And Leah Patrick has turned it up to Ishta Kurana. Karan up in lean six, Farrell close to us in the center of the pool, and Sophia Luce in lean number two. Karan has got a good looking stroke up there in lean six, she looks good. Pierce Farrell, center of the pool, he's gonna turn it over to Chitrali Samant. Clean start, Ritesh Rajanigan, he's gonna chew up some water. Good start by Ritesh Rajanigan in lean two. He's been a freestyle, he's got a nice stroke. And then we've also got up top, that is Ayababa. So center of pool is actually uh, Chitrelli Samant's been overtaken by Ritesh Rajanigan, who's going to turn it over to Andy DeLeva. Andy DeLeva in the pool. Samant will turn it over to Kevin Gu. And then up top, Ayababa will turn it over to Sean Haley. Andy DeLeva, good looking swim by Andrew. Mother does not like it when we call him Andy, so we call him Andy anyways. That's not very nice of us, is it? Andrew DeLeva, anchor leg. Lane two, Hopkinton, center of the pool. 
Kevin I haven't Goo. seen the two DeLevis go against each other yet. Yeah, not, this not meet. yet. Sean Haley with a good swim up there. Closed the gap a little bit on Kevin Goo, but let's let's be clear. Kevin Goo just finished, finished the 500 yeah. a couple of seconds ago. So Kevin Goo turned around from the 500 free and then anchored the heat to lane four relay team. That's pretty impressive. That's impressive. He must have done something wrong at practice this week. <laughs> Coaches, coaches getting them back. Massive punishment. I know. So this is going to be an interesting 100 backstroke. I'm looking there in lean number six. It's going to be Kate Legassi. Not known as a backstroker, but let's see what she's got going. She's done two backstroke events tonight. Center pool is going to be Tyler, Tyler Fallon. And Shailen Patel is going to be in lean number two. As Hopkinton puts out the 100 backstroke. Actually, it looks like there's going to be a... Heat number two as well, so Patel, Fallon, and Legassi. We didn't get a watch on this clean start by all the swimmers. Dedham challenging in the second in the center of the pool. Challenging Tyler Fallon, who opens up a little bit of a lead, followed closely by Patel. Kate Legassi challenging for fifth. They take their first turn. Center of the pool, that's Tyler Fallon, closely followed by two Dedham swimmers in leans three and five. Fallon opening up a lead. Patel holding on to fourth. Legassi looks like she's got fifth, but being challenged in lean two. It's going to come down to the last 50. Center of the pool, it's Tyler Fallon. <clears throat> Fallon being challenged in lean two or lean three. Some encouragement by the coaches. Fallon's going to take his turn, being challenged. He's being challenged pretty closely by Dedham in lean three. Center of the pool, that's where the race is right now. And then there's going to be a race for fifth place with Legassi and Dedham in lean two, in lanes one and six. It's going to come down to the touch here. Let's see what we've got. Looks like he's going to get just touched out. Nice swim by Dedham in lean two, or lane three. So Fallon just gets touched out. Hopkinson takes two, four. Dedham takes Fifth, Kate Legassi picking it up in lean six in sixth place. Good strong swim by Dedham there as Dedham takes one and three. Tyler Fallon taking second place. Shailen Patel taking fourth. Kate Legassi taking sixth, and we will run a second heat. So it's going to be Tyler Holbrow in lean two, Alex Matsukis in lean four, and the Foo Fighter. Allison Fu up in lane six. Dedham looks like they've got swimmers to put out. They're going to put swimmers in lanes one and three. The swimmers take a leisurely swim up after the swim. So this is going to be Holbrow, Matsukis, and Fu. Allison Fu, the Foo Fighter. You can't spell fun without F-U. Allison Fu is fun, and that's, that's how you spell it. F-U-N, fun. Allison Fu, the Foo Fighter. That's Sukis and Holbrow. Let's get a watch on this, if we can. We did. This will be a heat of guys and girls going for time here. Matsukis and Holbrow in lane two. It's Holbrow going out. And followed by Alex Matsukis and Allison Fu. Hopkinton swimmers all take the turn. Slight lead in lane two by Tyler Holbrow, followed by Alex Matsukis. Matsukis opening up a little bit of a lead against Holbrow. Fu keeping pretty close. Fu looks good up there in lane six. They turn at roughly a 33. Good clean turn, Fu turns in third. Center of the pool, that's Matsukis. Holbrow, Fu closing in. She's trying to move herself in the second position. Holbrow's challenging Matsukis. Turn with, its, with Matsukis in the lead. Holbrow challenging Allison Fu, clearly in third place. She's gonna try to move herself up if she can. Not enough pool for that. Matsukis is going to come in, pushing hard. Alex comes in at a 109 unofficial. Pretty close, almost a tie there. 
as Holbrow comes in right behind her, and the Foo Fighter coming in at a 115. Good swims on the second uh, second group. So we're going to move ourselves to the 100 breast. Some new names here in the 100 breast: Maggie McCarthy, Fletcher Clark, and Harani Fadagutla. McCarthy, Clark, and Fadagutla. We've seen these swimmers tonight. Fletch the catch, senior swimmer. Fletcher Clark. He's a tall man. And from what I hear, he's got a great sense of humor. I try to get the swim team names and nicknames from everybody. You get a few of them every now and then, some obvious ones. I don't know the team as well as I've known them in years past. We try to get a couple of nicknames up here. Good group of freshman swimmers has joined the team this year. As I had said earlier, Hopkinton is led by senior captains Andrew DeLevin, Alex Matsukas, Allison Fu, Kate Legassi, and Kayla McCann. Hopkinton will graduate eight seniors this year. They have a very, very large sophomore class. That is the, the meat of their team, if you will. A lot of good swimmers in that class as well. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 100 breaststroke. A little bit of rock in there at the first. Swimmers are steady. Clean start. Closest Austin lean too. That's Maggie McCarthy. Center of the pool. Fletcher Clark off to a good start. And Ronnie Fatakula up top in lean six. Dedham jumps out. They are going to turn in first and second. Fletcher Clark and Maggie McCarthy. Clark in third. McCarthy in fourth. Fatakula right now. She's hanging on to sixth place, trying to move herself in the fifth. Dedham with a 1-2 right now. That's Fletcher Clark. Maggie McCarthy in three and four. Thadagutla up in lean six, holding on to sixth place, trying to move herself in the fifth, and she has. So Hopkinton right now in three, four, five. Good swim up top by Harani Thadagutla. Harini Thadagutla. Maggie McCarthy, Fletcher Clark. Fletcher Clark turns 25 left. So Clark, Clark turns, see if he can close a little bit. Looks like Dedham's going to take one, two. Lanes three and five. Fletcher Clark in the center of pool, lane four. He's going to take third. And right now, Harini Fatagutla trying to hang on to that fifth spot. All these points count. Let's see what she can do. Fletcher Clark comes in, he takes third. That's Maggie McCarthy taking fourth. And up top, we're going to see if Harini Fatagutla can hang on, and she looks like she's going to, and picks up that point for Hopkinton with a fifth place finish. Every point counts at this point. And that is our final individual event of the night. We get ourselves ready for the 4x100 freestyle relay. The last, we'll have four swimmers each swimming 100 freestyle. We are only going to see one heat of this, and then we'll wrap up this particular heat. Eve, one thing I've noticed with the swimming, with the Hopkinton swim team this year, is at the end of the meet, we get a cheer, and Hopkinton has introduced two new cheers this year. I've been very impressed. Uh, one has been bathing suits, bathing suits. They are elastic, we think. The opponent is fantastic. And they opened up another one at the Austin Prep Meet. I forget what it was, but I'm hoping to hear a repeat tonight. Hats off to the Hopkinton team as they come up with new cheers this year. A little bit of creativity. We've seen potato chip, potato chip, up the pool, down the pool. <laughs> um, a lot of the regular ones. Uh, Campbell's, Campbell's, we like. Campbell's, Campbell's, we like soup. I forget what it is. It's something like like that. I like how the two che two teams cheer each other on instead of you know just booing each other. A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of sportsmanship. So here we are, the last event of the evening, the 400 freestyle relay. Andy Deleva in lane two, leading off with Blake Griner in lane four and Aditya Duda. 
In lane two, it's going to consist of Deleva, Pierce Farrell, Yuming Fang, Kevin Gu. Wow, Gu's swimming again. Blake Briner in lane two with Connor Willitson, Deidre Belger, and Alyssa Fisher. Up top, it's a teacher tutor with Mia Carboni, Olivia Jay, and Tyler Fallon. Hopkinton right now commanding lead in the center of the pool. That is Blake Briner up top. That is Aditya Duda. And then that's Andrew DeLeve. Andy's challenging for third position. Hopkinton trying to sweep the four by 100. Center of the pool, strong swim by Blake Briner. Up top, nice, another nice swim by Aditya Duda. And DeLeve after swimming the 500, he's putting in a nice 100. In the pool now, cleanly is Connor Willitson in the center of the pool. And Mia Carboni has been handed off by Aditya Duda. Nice swim by Andrew DeLeva, handing off with Pierce Farrell, moving his relay team into third position. They can sweep. That's 12 points for Hopkinton. That'll be a commanding uh, finish for the uh, for the meet here. As Hopkinton looks like they should cruise the victory, although with some lineup changes, it's going to be pretty close tonight. We'll see what the final score is. Connor Willitson, nice swim in the center of the pool as he flips his second 50. Pierce Farrell up top. Oh, that's up, Pierce Farrell. It's Mir Kamboni up top. Pierce Farrell. Closest to us in lane two. Too many names, too many people, too many lanes. We're doing the best we can. Connor Willitson, center of the pool. Up top, Mia Carboni and Pierce Farrell. Farrell has been passed now and has moved himself, and Dedham has taken over third position. Willitson will hand off to Deidre Belger. Carboni to Olivia J. Dedham is going to put their third swimmer into the pool. And Pierce Farrell is going to turn him over to Yuming Fang. Yuming Fang is going to fair amount tonight. We've heard her name a couple of times. Big cheers over there by the, by the Hopkinton teams. Center of the pool right now, that is Hopkinton, Deidre Belger, and up top, that is Olivia J. They're being challenged by Dedham. Dedham charging hard. Their swimmer is going to take over first position in this turn. With 50 left to go in the third swimmer before we put this, the anchors in. Coach has got a nice lineup in the anchors. Goo, Fisher, and Fallon. But right now, it's a battle in the center of the pool. Dedham has taken over. Deidre Belger, second place in Ming Fang, or Olivia J, rather, up top, holding on to third position. Ming Fang keeping her relay team in fourth. Dedham's going to put their, their final swimmer into the water first. Let's look for a list of Fish, Fisher and Tyler Fallon to pick up some ground here and see if they can challenge Jedham for first. Fisher's in the water. Fallon's in the water. Quick start by Fisher. She can't overswim this first 50, though. One of the things that happens in this 400 relay, and Kevin Goo's in the water. He's swimming strong as well. They're tracking down Jedham right now. Fish looks to try to overcome in the first 50. Again, what happens is you can't overswim the first 50 and run out of steam in the second 50. We'll see what they've got. <laughs> Hopkinton's closed the gap already. Fisher, a half a body length lead. Let's see if she's still got something left in the tank. Tyler Fallon, he's up top challenging as well. Chase down the Dedham swimmer. Three are going to turn across. An exciting race to the finish here, folks. A nice end to this meet. Dedham hanging on right now. Let's see if Fisher's got it. Did she overswim it? Tyler Fallon up top. Dedham's holding him off. Challenged by Fish. It's going to be Dedham. Dedham takes it. Fisher. Fallon. And a nice swim by Kevin Gu, who really closed the gap and put himself in fourth position. So it's going to be an interesting score. Coach had a different lineup here tonight. I'm sure she was doing some math. But this is a TVL League meet. Hopkinton should win this with some with some strong swims. But losing the relays is tough. And we'll have to wait and see. As this one's a little too close to call. What do you think, Eve? I think Denham definitely did a big job with the relay, especially since their team is maybe only Half, right? Half of ours? Probably about half. Yeah. I think you're right from the body, from the numbers of the... Uh, so them pushing through the relay was their comeback. Definitely for them being outnumbered. And a gutsy swim by the gentleman in lean three. He saw the pressure coming on. Fish pressed him, picked up 
pretty much all the distance in the first two laps in the first 50, and he held on. He had a nice a little bit of a sprint left at the end, the last 10 yards. He had just enough left. Hopkinton ran out of pool as the last of the Devon swimmers comes in. Swimmers are going to swim down. We're going to get the recap and the score in a little while as they tally it up. The officials in the center just getting the places correct. A nice evening tonight. Dedham came in, the Marauders. TVL meet. Giving Hopkinton a run for the money. First year coach Kristen Weber switching it up a little bit tonight. Moving some bits of the, some pieces of the chessboard around a little bit. Nice to see a little bit of creativity. Hopefully it uh, still worked out for Hopkinton. So we're going to tally up the scores. We'll hear that in a couple of minutes. They should have the score ready pretty quickly. Then we're going to get ready for the cheers. We always like to hear what the cheers are. You can see the size of Hopkinton's team as they begin to mull around and gather, getting ready for the cheer. Dedham, like you said, about 20, 20, 25 swimmers. About half of Hopkinton's team. Keith Tech is going to be busy tonight as there are some swimmers already starting to come in for practices. This pool is occupied quite a bit over the uh, over the day and night with a lot of teams uh, in the area that use it. So Jeff Libby has uh, is is working right now with the team as an assistant coach. Let's hear what Hopkinton's got to do for their uh, cheer tonight. Well, you know, after my big lead up for all the new creative cheers that Hopkinton's been throwing down. That's a new one, I think. Well, no, they went with the. Oh, I like the one by Dedham, a little boom, boo-ray, boo-ray. Yeah. Shisumba, a little rah-rah, something different. So Hopkinton went with the old standby, potato chip, potato chip. Munch, munch, munch. We think Dedham is a mighty fine bunch. Here they go. An, an oldie but a goodie. Now they do that sweaty hand slappy thing. They pass germs around. Yes, they do, and that's exactly what they're doing. If your kid's not sick, he's going to be sick after the meet. Especially since January's rolling around. Yep. Everybody's starting to get sick. That they Fantastic. are. <laughs> but at least we've had some really good weather. Let's get some waves from the team off the deck. We get a little bit of good weather. 60, 70 degrees over the weekend. It's fairly warm today. We're going to hang in here, see what the final score is going to be. So our good folks at HCAM, the Ocho, HCAM will be able to put the score up as well. We'll get the final score here in a TVL league meet with Dedham Marauders taking on the Hopkinton Hillers. We all have our new Hopkinton Hiller apparel on. I was wearing the colors tonight, the new Hopkinton Hiller t-shirts. Coach Kristen Weber wearing it as well. First year head coach for Hopkinton, Kristen Weber. Assisted by Jeff Livy, who's been the head coach for the last two years. And long time assistant coach, Karen Terry, who now is let out of her contract to stay swimming until the final Legacy has a swim for Hopkinton. Kate will graduate this year, so long as she doesn't continue to have senioritis. And Karen Terry is relieved and can retire if she would like, although I don't think she's going to, but she made this non-verbal commitment to me that she would continue to coach while Legacy was still on the team and she's been doing so. I'm gonna tally up the store at the score here as the pool is starting to fill up a little bit with some non-Hopkinton folks who are getting ready for practices. A couple of colorful bathing suits coming out. Bunch of teams coming in. I'm not sure who's got practice. Could be Nate, it could be Framingham. Uh, not really sure. But let's see if they're going to give us an announcement of the final score here. The teams are leaving, so I'm not really sure what we've got going here. Let me see what I can find out. 
Why don't we take a break and we'll get a score and we'll come back and we'll announce the score. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. All right, and we're back, and we have a final score. It is in the books. Hopkinton, 94. The Dedham Marauders, 86. A good swim by Hopkinton tonight. Nice changes in the lineup by Coach Kristen Weber. We will be back here again on January 18th, Saturday night, when the Hillers take on... Hold on, I need my glasses. When the Hillers take on Norwood here at Keefe Tech. I'm hoping to be joined again by Eve Weatherhead in the booth on the camera. Thank you, Eve. It's a pleasure being here. And this is Kevin Legassi signing off for Pillars Swim and Dive.